Hello again, dear friends. This is Pastor Roy Olson, Bishop Pastor Roy Olson, if that matters, talking to you about some of the most important things in the Christian life, which uh, is ultimately encompassed in the Apostle Paul's great uh, declaration uh, that he, he says, I live nevertheless I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live, I live by the, the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. That seems to be the epitome, the goal of the Christian life. What is the goal of the Christian life? Well, if you've ever asked yourself that question, you know that it's it's more than just uh, being saved from hell and receiving eternal life. That's the beginning of the Christian life. And then the infilling of the Holy Spirit and the other works of grace within our life. What is the ultimate goal? Where is all this headed? And the Apostle Paul encompassed it all in that, uh, I live uh, nevertheless, not I, but Christ liveth in me. And um, somehow we get the impression that he's, he's speaking about being controlled by walking in and being led by the Spirit of God revealing the Father and the Son in him and uh, through him. What a magnificent high calling. I think uh, the Apostle Paul may have tasted that because he's, he certainly expressed himself. He said he kept, he was pressing, pressing towards the, the, the high mark of the calling in Christ Jesus. He saw something, he knew something, he experienced something, and he wasn't satisfied where he was, and so he's pressing. And um, the songwriter, Francis, Francis Ridley Havergale, uh, I think um, expressed it most succinctly in a, in a song I'd like to uh, read, sing for you. It goes like this, Live out thy life within me, O Jesus, King of kings, be thou thyself the answer to all my questionings. Live out thy life within me in all things. Have thy way, I, the transparent medium, thy glory to display. The temple has been yielded and purified of sin. Let thy Shekinah glory now shine forth from within. And all the earth keeps silence. The body henceforth be thy silent, gentle servant, moved only as by thee. Its members, every moment, held subject to thy call, ready to have thee use them or not be used at all. Held without restless longing or strain or stress or fret, or chafings at thy dealings, or thoughts of vain regret. But restful, calm, pliant, from bend and bias free, awaiting thy decision. When thou hast need of me, live out thy life within me, O Jesus, King of kings. And it concludes with this, be thou the glorious answer to all my questionings. And dear friend, that's my desire for myself and my desire and prayer for those to whom I minister and for you dear friends who are listening to this. God bless you. This is your friend, Roy. I'll be back. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.